This video is the third part of session 3 perform operations on table. Now in this video I am going to explain in detail delete statement. So delete statement is used to remove one or more records in our database. So actually delete command we are using to delete one or more records or rows from the table. Now syntax for using delete command or statement is first of all delete command name we have to write then from after that we have to write name of the table in double quotes thereafter where and after where we have to give condition and then semicolon so this is the statement of the delete command delete from table name where condition and just to end delete command we have to enter semicolon at the now just to explain delete command practically here i have considered one situation so here as you can see delete record of a student whose name is Sachin from the student info table so in this student info table we have record of such a student and this student record we have to delete from the table student info so for this we have to write delete command so here you can see delete command is also here on the screen so delete from table name is student info so student info double quotes where and after that we have to give condition name is equals to such and then semicolon so this is a delete command that we are going to use to delete record of a student whose name is Sachin from student info table. Now I am going to show you how this delete command will work practically by using open office base database and in that we already have a student info table. So now moving to open office base student info table. So here you can see in this table we have fourth last record of Sachin and this record we have to delete by using delete command. So now I am going to write delete command. So for this I have to go back and here in the tool step we are getting SQL option. So I am just clicking on this option SQL. Now I am going to write delete command. So delete from table name is student info and table name always write in double quotes. So student info thereafter where after that condition we have to give. So name equals to such and then semicolon so this is a command first of all delete from table name in double quotes student info where and then we have to write name is equals to such so here this is the delete command and this delete command will delete record of a student whose name is searching from a student info table so now going to execute this command so for that i have to click on this execute button now in the status you can see i am getting the message command successfully executed so here this means record of the student search got delete from the student info table so after this i am just closing this window so close and now going back to the table and after this i have to refresh and now here you can see that in this table i am not getting now record of search so in this way we can use delete command to delete one record from the table as well as we can use delete command to delete two or more records also so just to explain this i am going to consider one more situation so now moving back to the slide now here in this you can see delete record of class 10th students from the student info table so now here in this case what i have to do i have to delete record of students who are in class 10th from the student info table so for this how will we write delete command so first of all delete from the name of the table student info where and then in the double quotes class equals to 10 and then semicolon so this is the command that we are going to use to delete record of class 10th students from the student info table so now going to open office base just to show you practically how this command will work so here in the table first of all you can see that three students are there in class 10th Ramesh, Anand and Anuj and I have to delete record of these three students because these three students are in the class 10th so now going to write command to delete these three records so here again tool step SQL first of all delete from the student info where class equals to 10 and then semicolon. So here in this case those records will get delete in which the class column value is 10 from the student info table. So now going to execute this command. So execute. We got the message command successfully executed. Now closed. 
and then after going back to the table and I have to refresh this now so now you can see that in this table we are not getting record of those three students who are in class 10 so in this way you have seen that we can use delete command to delete two or more records also so this is a function of the delete command to delete one or more rows or records from the table of the database now after this moving to the next slide now here next is what sorting data now first of all sorting means what that whatever data we have if we are arranging that data in ascending or descending order that is called sorting and sorting is possible in the table of database also now just going to show you practically how this sorting data is working in case of open office base table so now moving to open office base table same student info table i am going to consider to explain you this sorting data also so here you can see that uh, i am getting name of students and first of all abhay mayesh yash and rajesh so here what is happening that students names are not in the alphabetical order because if we arrange students name in alphabetical order in that situation first of all abhay name will be there then mayesh after that in the third row we will get record of rajesh and then after yash will come so here what i want to do i want to arrange the students details in the alphabetical order of their name so for this what we have to do first of all select that particular column so as i want to arrange the students as per their name so here first of all this column is selected and then we have here two option a to z and z to a so if we want to arrange in the ascending order then we have to go for a to z and if we want to arrange in the descending order then we have to go for z to a so here as i want to arrange the students name in the alphabetical order a to z so i have to click on this option so here when i'm clicking so you can see that first of all abhay mayesh and then after we are getting the record of rajesh and then we are getting record of yash so in this way we can arrange our records those are in the table in ascending or descending order and for that we have here sorting options in open office base just above the table so now in this video you have seen how can we use delete command to delete one or more records from the table as well as you have also seen that how can we arrange our data in the ascending or descending order so here this video i am going to end and the remaining part of the session 3 will be covered in the next video